to the dogs, not the doggies, the dogs at the Midwest Regional of the Incredible Dog Challenge. The Ewings have moved out. JR, you dog, takes on new meaning. These dogs will race, and dive, and fly. It's bigger in life, darling. Welcome to USA Sports coverage of the Incredible Dog Challenge presented by Purina Dog Chow. Coming to you from the home of the Ewing, South Fork Ranch, just outside Dallas, Texas. Big dogs and big D, small dogs too. Most importantly, incredible dogs. Hello and welcome to South Fork Ranch. I'm John Nicholson with my USA Sports partner, Shalene Cockrell. We're going to have a great competition here today, John. In fact, we have the number one fly ball team in the United States, Top Dog Racing, and they're right here on home turf in Dallas. They are hoping to become the best fly ball team in the world this year. We also have incredible diving dog competition, small and large dog agility, and Jack Russell hurdle racing. But we're going to focus here in Dallas on incredible fly flying disc competition. We'll be visiting with Paul West and all of his dogs at home, including Supersport, his incredible partner. After that, we'll see if they can come out on top in today's competition. It is a very strong field. You know, when they do this, they make it look so easy, but really it's not. No, it's not. In fact, in the flying disc competition, there are three different areas of judging, presentation, dog skills, and originality. Now, the handler and the dog have to communicate throughout the entire routine. Even though you won't be able to hear it because of the music, you need to know that the handler is constantly talking to his dog. The first incredible dog we're going to take a look at is Skyler out of Houston, Texas, and his partner, Mark Jennings. This is a team we saw earlier this year at the Winter Games in Park City. Did not win there. Had to qualify here to get into this competition. That's right. Not a hard thing to do for this team, though. They are the 2000 Texas State Champs in Flying Disc. As we'll see with so many of these top pairs, they work so well together, really in sync. See the, the jumps, the leaps, the different types of vaults off of his leg, off of his chest, off the back. Giving some good height and some good catches, which is definitely key in this competition. Got a very nice crowd on hand here at South Fork. It's a bit muddy. We had a lot of rain and wind overnight, so the track can be a little tough. But Skyler handles it, and there is the bonus. 86 for Skyler and Mark Jennings. Next up, from the Dallas area, Zane Nail with Kaya. Kaya is a Belgian Malinois. There's a group of competitors from here in the Dallas area who go against each other all the time, and this is part of that group. Kaya has placed second in the pro division in the Texas State Championships, and in fact, a lot of the dogs we're seeing today are the best in the country. Kaya, interestingly enough, flunked out of the Border Patrol, and that's when Zane adopted him. He's not flunking out of this at all. Not at all. Some great tricks and great catches here, and a lot of good teamwork. Apparently, the reason Kaya flunked out of the Border Patrol is that Kaya was too interested in playing and not enough in sniffing out narcotics, which has worked <laughs> out very well right here. Yes, indeed. 83 points out of a possible 102. Next up, all the way from Durham, North Carolina, it's Johnny with Kendall Lemley. Johnny was the Midwest Regional Champion in Chicago two years ago. This is a dog that Kendall went and got at the town, took his girlfriend with him at the time, kept the dog, kept the girlfriend. They got married. A great combination there. The interesting thing is that these dogs don't have to be special. They don't have to be pure breeds. A lot of them are taken from the pounds and trained to do these incredible tricks. Johnny listed as a mix. What mix exactly? Who knows? Who cares? Just as long as he can do things like that. So great catches and of course, lots of great tricks and teamwork all going into the routine. And here is his highlight move. This is Johnny's world famous spin move. 
84.66 from our panel of three judges puts Johnny in second place. Skyler and Mark Jennings still in the lead with much more to come, including the team we're featuring here, Paul West at Supersport. It's all for the fun of it. The dogs enjoy it so much. And, and I enjoy getting out and doing it and seeing all the other people doing it. So uh, I don't see us not doing this for quite a long time. The excitement is incroyable in the early rounds of the French Open. May 28th through June 8th on USA. Ooh la la! Thousands of drivers are saving money by switching to Geico Auto Insurance. I'm here with one of them. Hello. You don't want your identity revealed. Why? If word got out I saved so much, people would be hitting me up for money all the time. Uh, you through with the milk? Sure, of course. I have to be careful. Geico Direct. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The cleaning power of toothpaste. The freshness of mouthwash. Together. Colgate 2-in-1. Toothpaste and mouthwash. A unique liquid gel. It cleans hard to reach places and kills germs that cause bad breath. Colgate 2-in-1. Wizard Scented Oil. It brings a unique freshness to your home. You can control the fragrance level to create a long-lasting magical atmosphere. Scented Oil from Wizard. Fragrances that change your world. What I love about gardening is there's a creative spirit to it that gets to your heart. It kind of nourishes your soul and you give it what it needs. Feeding with miracle Grow every other week really gives the plants the nutrients that they need. The blossoms are a lot fuller and there's a lot more bloom on them. I feed with miracle Grow every other week. I think our world would be a more beautiful place if everyone just took a little bit more time to look at a flower. Let's have a listen. Feeling good. I'm feeling good. Feeling bad. My tail is wagging all the time. It's got to be the puppy chow. Puppy Chow Nutrition helps build a healthy immune system for a long, strong, and exceptional life. Purina Puppy Chow brand. There are puppies, and then there are large breed puppies. Take special care of their needs with Puppy Chow Large Breed Formula. First terrorist bombing in the United States. Our authorities say investigations are pending. A terrorist cell operating in Brooklyn? Yes. Make no mistake. We will hunt down the enemy, we will find the enemy, and we will kill the enemy. Do you have any idea what you're starting here? I'm questioning my patriotism. I'm questioning your judgment. The siege. Please, would you please let the children go? Tomorrow at 7.30 on USA. Welcome back to South Fork Ranch and the Incredible Dog Challenge. These, uh, that might be doggies, I suppose, as opposed to incredible dogs. The Incredible Flying Disc competition continues with Paul West and Super Sport out on the field. We had an opportunity to visit with Paul at home and Super Sport far from the only animal around the house there in South Lake. We started out with this little schnauzer uh, that was basically our family pet, and uh, she's always been a really good dog. She's kind of like our watchdog. The other dogs will will bark, but normally she's the first one to bark, and they come running to see what the problem is. She's our little watchdog. Um, Shadow was the, uh, the second dog that we got. Uh, after I started competing with Shadow, my wife wanted to start playing also, so we got sport. Then I started playing with Sport when he got to be really, really good. <laughs> and so my wife wanted another dog to play with. <laughs> so it just so happened that uh, uh, we picked up Lexi, who was the uh, daughter of the 98 uh, uh, world champion over in Dallas. Um, then last summer, we had an opportunity to pick up a rescue dog, um, Hawkeye. First couple months were very, very hard and just getting come out of his shell and everything, but now he's as eager to play as any of the other dogs. I don't think I could do it if it wasn't very organized. Um, uh, along with the five dogs, we have a horse and a cat. So, uh, and those are my daughter's pets. <laughs> she takes care of feeding the horse and the cat and 
I, I think I figured out that after three dogs, it doesn't really matter how many you have because you line all the bowls up, put all the food in, set all the bowls down, they all eat, you put them outside. Uh, and and they, they all know the routine. As they're coming in, if it's bad weather, they all know that one comes in, there's a little rug in front of the doggy door, we wipe their paws, after that one goes, the next one will come in. So it's, it's really organization that really helps a lot. It's been so close so many times for Paul. He was at our first competition in St. Louis three years ago. Has since competed in regionals from the East Coast to the West. Close, but never a winner. This time, however, he and Super Sport here in Dallas are on home turf. I think Sport and I are at the top of our game right now. We're, we're very consistent, and that's really what you have to have to win at, at, at this type of contest. Uh, he has an unbelievable amount of tricks that he does. And I, you know, if it's up to him, we probably would have already won. <laughs> so it's up to me. And I, I think we're going to be up to the challenge this, this uh, weekend. Um, we're definitely uh, on schedule. I mean, everything is leading up to it. Uh, but I can't say that we're definitely going to win because I know that there's four or five other people out there who are definitely looking at the same thing I'm looking at, and that is winning this trip to St. Louis to compete for the national championship. Well, let's see. Super Sport, Paul West, four years old Super Sport is, and this is a very, very tough field here. 86 is the score to beat to get into the lead. Once again, remember it's on presentation, dog skills, and originality, so three different judging categories go into the routine. Is a tall guy, well over six feet, serves as a wonderful launching pad for Super Sport. Speaking of launching pads, don't think these guys let their dogs jump off of them without any protection. He has a flak jacket on underneath his t-shirt. As a matter of fact, his grandmother made that flak jacket. Now, all Paul's friends who compete in the sport also have asked her to make flak jackets for them. So the whole family's getting involved. <laughs> Some great catches here by Super Sport. 86.33, that will pull them into the lead. A slim margin over Mark Jennings and Skyler, but now it's Donnie and Chuck Middleton, another team in that group here in the Dallas area. Very, very tough. Getting ready to go. This team has performed at NBA, NFL, NHL, and several other college sporting events, so performing is nothing new. Look at that concentration. And the costume. I like the little uh, doggy sequence jacket. It adds to the whole performance. I like a Texas colors there. Some awesome height on these catches. A panel of three judges will do the scoring. You can get bonus points for catching the flying disc in that checkerboard area at the end. And let's see if he can do it. Yes, and sir. he makes it. That will add on to his score, a total of 91, which puts Chuck and Donnie well into the lead. And Paul West, once again, is gone. Bob Evans and Nick, the last team competing here. Nick just two years old, but is very impressive. Bob riling up the crowd. Right away, there's the bonus catch for Nick. So they got the two points early on in their performance. Woo, some great vaults and height and a catch off of the jump on that one. Yeah, Bob says, don't want you to land from that high up. I'll just catch you and put you back down. <laughs> These two also have performed all over Texas. They've done shows with the Dallas Cowboys, Texas Rangers, the Mavericks, and the Denver Broncos. Bob and Nick, another of this Dallas area group, constantly pushing each other to new heights, literally right there. 91 is going to be a very tough score to catch, though. This would be the team to do it, however, oh, but they come up short, 87.33. So checking the final standings in the incredible flying disc, Donnie wins it, Nick, and then Paul Weston Supersport winding up in third place. Let's go to Shaleen with the winners. Some very tough competition today in the flying disc event. What do you think put you over the top? I think it was really the uh, crowd's reaction to us. They really reacted well to Donnie and his tricks and performance, and, uh, and so I think the judges took note of that. Do you have any type of uh, move that you call your specialty? No, we really don't. I mean, we do several vaults. We do about five or six different vaults, and uh, we try to mix those up through the routine, and the crowd, as you uh, saw today, just loved them. 
And there's Lou Mack, flying disc man extraordinaire and the chief judge of our panel of judges. He'll be online right after the show at 9 o'clock Eastern time. So log on and have a chat with Lou Mack. Coming up next, they fly through the air with the greatest of ease. Stay with us. This afternoon, one of our advisors showed this dad how to protect his family. And still retire at 55. recharges it. So, what will you do with your battery? Now that your watch doesn't need one. Smile, you've got friendship. Smile, you got friendship. Oh, honey mustard, smile. Honey mustard, smile. There's nothing like the new, sweet, and tangy taste of French's honey mustard. Smile, you got French's honey mustard. You are here. USA. Have you tried Michael's Restaurant? Michael's is located on South River Street in Plains and we're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from 7 a.m. daily. Our fresh roasted meats, soups, and pastas will delight your taste buds and our homemade desserts will put a smile on everyone's face. Plus, Michael's can accommodate small parties and does off-site catering. Have you tried Michael's Restaurant? You'll be very glad you did. One of the great things about advertising on cable television is that you can target your exact audience. Sports fans, families with children, adults 25 to 54 who like to eat out. No matter who you're targeting, when you advertise on cable, your message is sure to hit the mark. Call Cable Rep Advertising. Put the power of cable TV to work for you. Sorry. Just smile, Loretta, so you don't look like you're being held up. It's okay, we're the good guys. Oh, I'm a federal marshal and you're under arrest. I'm in, let's go. You're having too much fun. George Clooney. I'm not exactly a nine to five type. Jennifer Lopez. We tussle, we tussle. From the director of traffic and Aaron Brockovich. Out of sight. Monday at 9, 8 central on USA. Welcome back to the Incredible Dog Challenge. John Nicholson and Shalene Cockrell bringing it to you, and the diving dogs are next. How about doing the long jump into water? That's basically the premise of the incredible diving dog competition. The dogs take off from the platform with the reach of their paws marking the farthest point. One of the most important things to get the most distance, however, is to make sure they take off from the edge. There are three rounds all together. We're going to show you highlights of the first two here. Here is AJ, who is our first round leader. <laughs> Unbelievable distance on that, 22 feet, one inch. Taking off of the platform, taking a look at that once again, head on. And as we mentioned, it's important to get close to the edge, and he reaches out as far as possible. It's about as close to the edge as you can get. Very good point there. AJ from Omaha, Nebraska. And then here is Rock, also in the first round. And with that jump, Rock outdoes AJ with a 22 feet, 6 inch jump. Replay from the rear, Rock out of St. Louis. Look at that form and extension out into the pool. So Rock was our leader coming out of the first round, AJ in second place. 
Here's the second round. AJ trying to get past Rock's Mark. And Rock's Mark is five inches in front of AJ. This jump looked good, but doesn't quite make it. He's still in second place, 22 feet, three inches. Which brought up a dog by the name of Kaz from San Antonio, Texas in the second round. Dimitri Pappas, the handler of Kaz. Good effort by Kaz, but not enough to pull up into the top spot. 20 feet, five inches will put him into third place. And then it was Maggie's turn. Maggie is from Houston. Nice form. Looks like she got a lot of distance out front, but she only comes up with 20 feet, putting her into fourth place as we head into the final round. Rock has the lead, followed by AJ, Kaz, Maggie, Arrow, and Scylla, as in Priscilla. It's actually Lady Graceland Priscilla, kind of an Elvis connection here. So here in the third round, we are now ready for Skeeter, who is from right here in Plano, right near South Fork. Julie Casey, the trainer. And let's see what Skeeter can do in launching from the platform. Skeeter can't wait. Skeeter's just focused on the bumper. Can't wait to run down that platform. Skeeter's first competition. 18 feet, 10 inches, previous best 17.9. So that's a pretty good job. Does not put Skeeter in the top group, but an improvement. And that's all we're looking for here today. AJ up next. Once again, we'll see him. He is currently in second place. He needs to beat 22 feet 6 inches to take the lead. That was a good one. Oh, he might have done it. Yes, he has. 23 feet 2 inches, and that will put AJ in first place. Let's see exactly how A.J. did that. Look at that charge to the end, right off the edge. Nice extension. And good reach also on that jump. One more look. Pretty good altitude there, not too much. A very nice angle. Let me go ahead and get that bumper. I'd like to do that, he says. <laughs> Remember, once again, these jumps are judged by the distance of the front pause, so that reach is very important. So no Kaz is all set to go. Kaz says, well, if AJ can do better, why can't I? I'm a Texas dog after all. I'm from San Antonio. Come on. Oh, Kaz taking off way before the edge, and that's going to hurt his distance, 19 feet, 2 inches. Which leaves it to Arrow and Lisa Kranz. Ready? Arrow, a border collie, a little guy compared to the rest of these dogs, so he has a little bit of a disadvantage just from size. Come on, Arrow. Get out there. Oh. Big height. Big height. And some good distance for him. 15 feet, 1 inch for Arrow. And finally, the dog that led after the first round and after the second round, but now finds himself trailing two-year-old Rock out of St. Louis. Gary Weber will try to urge Rock on beyond the mark set by AJ. Oh, the pressure. Oh, yeah, good job. And the judges good, good. give him 22 feet, 6 inches, tying his previous best, but not enough to go into the lead. One more time, slow motion. Here's Rock coming right at you. Pretty close to the edge. Pretty good reach. Rock says, how'd I do? One more time. Pretty well, Rock, just not quite as well as AJ. So as we check the results, AJ from Omaha will move on to St. Louis for the Nationals. Then it's Rock and Kaz, Maggie, Skeeter, and Darrell. Let's go to Shelley. AJ is our incredible diving dog champion, 23 feet, 2 inches, and he hasn't done this much before. No, we were looking for a little better, but that was all right. The wind was blowing into his face and not quite as much run as, as we've been practicing with, but it was pretty good effort for driving in the car for 10, 10 hours. And <laughs> good enough effort to win today yeah. anyway. What about all the attention? You say he gets a little bit of this at home. Well, my parents always have their friends over to... Uh, watching the swimming pool and he puts on quite a show jumping off the diving board and having a good time with everybody so <laughs> lots of practice and the crowd doesn't bother him well congratulations to both of you thanks a lot wait a minute what's this another incredible diving dog competitor why no that's cruiser one of the new stars of the show training tips with cruiser coming up stay with us